Fossil fuel is the major energy source for the United States and for the rest of the world. In this presentation, we will look at fossil fuel, how it's used, where it comes from, and we'll uh, look at the question of whether this is a sustainable resource or not a sustainable resource. This photograph or series of photographs which shows the world at night indicates where energy is being consumed throughout the world. As you can see, most of the energy is being consumed in the developed world, including the United States, Europe, and Japan. Uh, but in the future, we anticipate that the undeveloped world will be a major source of energy use. Uh, most of the energy that we see being spent here is fossil fuel energy. And we'll look more at fossil fuel energy uh, in the next couple of slides. 84% of global primary energy is the consumption of fossil fuel, or comes from the consumption of fossil fuel. By primary energy, we mean using the fossil fuel to as an energy resource. Secondary energy would be using the fossil fuel to make, say, electricity. Then electricity would be a secondary energy uh, source. We use fossil fuel as a primary energy source for a wide variety of things from home heating to manufacturing. However, in this course, we will spend the majority of our time looking at the two major uses of fossil fuel energy, and that is using uh, fossil fuel energy to make electricity, so in power plants as illustrated on the left-hand side, uh, and for transportation as illustrated by the uh, automobile traffic on the right-hand side. The primary fossil fuels are oil or petroleum, coal, and natural gas. In addition to these conventional fossil fuels, there are unconventional fossil fuels that we'll also deal with in this class because it's, they're quite important, which are shale oil and shale gas, uh, and tar sands, are, which produce a form of oil. As we've indicated previously, fossil fuels are not renewable. They were made millions of years ago in a geologic process where the bodies of uh, minute biological organisms uh, were compressed and eventually turned into oil and uh, natural gas. So the, they're not being renewed. New oil and natural gas is not being made naturally in this way. Fossil fuel resources are distributed globally quite widely, uh, including in the United States. There are large resources of coal in the United States and elsewhere. Uh, there are large oil and natural gas resources uh, in the United States and the Middle East and uh, uh, in uh, other countries of uh, the Europe and throughout the world. The uh, recent widespread use of hydraulic fracturing or fracking has opened up additional resources so uh, of oil and natural gas and this has really changed the picture of the amount of oil and natural gas resource that is available. We'll talk more about that later in the course. Consumption of fossil fuel, particularly the consumption of coal and oil in form of petroleum or, uh, and gasoline and diesel fuel uh, has a profound impact on the quality of air. So air pollution is a major problem. Here we're looking at this kind of paradox of a Chinese bullet train uh, going through this really horrendous pollution that has been affecting uh, many major cities in China. In addition to conventional air pollution caused by burning fossil fuels. There is a major intrinsic problem with burning fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are a hydrocarbon material. When you burn them, you basically turn them into energy and CO2. CO2 is a greenhouse gas, causes global uh, warming, global climate change, uh, and this is a additional major problem with the use of fossil fuels. 
the release of CO2, carbon dioxide, by the combustion of fossil fuels for energy use leads to the greenhouse effect, through the greenhouse effect, leads to global warming and overall global climate change. This is a serious problem. The consequences include a wide variety of uh, effects from uh, species extinction to sea level rise. We'll look more at this in the next chapter of this uh, course. Even though we will talk more about this in the near future, it's important to realize that global climate change is not a theory, it's not a hypothesis, it's a reality. Global climate change is happening, uh, it's happening glo uh, globally by its very nature, and the consequences in the next, uh, for, certainly for the rest of this century and in nearer terms can, can be and probably will be quite profound. So putting all this information together about uh, fossil fuel energy, we see fossil fuel energy does meet the needs of the present. In fact, it supplies uh, 80, roughly 82% of all the energy that we use, all the primary energy that we use. But uh, it's a finite resource. It's not renewable, so we will run out of it eventually, although there is a great deal of, uh, of uh, fossil fuel uh, available. Uh, but the big problem with it is it uh, does degrade the natural environment uh, in terms of air pollution as well as uh, pollution from actually extracting the resource uh, and it is a major contributor to global climate change. In this course we will describe the problems with using fossil fuel as a primary energy resource but instead of leaving you with a picture of gloom and doom, uh, we will also discuss how renewable energy, energy conservation, and other lifestyle changes can lead to a sustainable future for us. So this is actually a course which looks forward to positive changes in the future.